Hi, this is Jerry Martin with Software Analysis Corporation. Today we're going to talk about how to assign specific activity and expense codes to slips. For example, when I have a matter that is an electronic billing matter, my timekeepers are only allowed to pick A codes or E codes on their time slips. If I don't limit what they see, they typically pick just a general description code, which doesn't help me when I'm doing the electronic billing because my billing will fail. By using this technique, we can force people to use the codes that we want associated with a given matter. Let's take a look at how this looks. Let's look at a client that has electronic billing. We want them to see only A and E codes. So we're going to choose activities for the client. And under activity, we're going to go to selection. And here we're going to select the activities that will be visible to our timekeepers. See, we're looking at the tasks that are going to be included. We want everything that starts with an A code for the tasks. So I'm going to choose everything except for A code activities. I'm going to click OK. But I also want to get tasks in, or expenses in here as well. So I'm going to add a supplemental filter, the E code. So I'm going to check everything that has an E code and click OK. And now my filter will filter out all, any tasks that don't have an A or an E code. So let's take a look at how this looks. When I go to enter a slip for this client, notice when I choose the tasks, I still have that billable time code that I'm not supposed to have. And here's the trick. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to say to use only my tasks. Now when I'm looking at only my tasks, I only have A and E codes available to me. Each timekeeper must make this choice one time. After that, time slips will remember the choice unless it is changed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick an A code that works here and draft and review. And I'm going to finish my description, my time, and go ahead and save it. Now, when I go to enter time to another matter, let's say I use ABC, who does not have the selection criteria set up, I still have all codes available to me. So if I haven't set the override in the actual matter, all codes will be available to me. Now you might want to set up templates in your system that allow you to have different codes automatically for clients that are electronic billing and clients who are not, so that every client has a set of codes selected at the time you create the client. So let's take a look at ABC. What we're going to do is we're going to have them see only non-electronic billing codes. So again, I choose tasks that don't have A codes, and I click OK. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a supplemental filter that will allow me to just choose expenses that don't have an E code. And now if I do a time slip for uh, ABC, you'll see that I only have those two items available to me. So let's look at a new slip. And when I choose the task, I now only have those two tasks to look at. I choose a task called billable time. I like to keep my tasks very clean so that my timekeepers don't have a hard choice as to what to choose. Everything's coming in in the description anyway. And I put in the amount of time and I save it and then I'm done. This is a very useful feature. I would really encourage you to check it out and go ahead and get it rolled out to your people. It will help keep them on track. If you want more information, you can find our website at WWWSAC Chicago, along with our phone number and email address. You can also schedule a time for us to talk. So go ahead and either leave a message or schedule something. And also, please feel free to check out our blogs. We frequently write a blog on various software packages that we support. Thank you, and please feel free to contact us.